One of these players has a chance to win a gold necklace, a large screen television, a 35 millimeter camera, or a trip to Aruba. And continue in for cash prizes, including a brand new Toyota Celica and fifty thousand dollars in cash. Total over one hundred thousand dollars up for grabs tonight on sale of the century. And now here's your host, the star of sale of the century, Brandon Scrum. Hello once again ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another episode of Sale of the Century right here at MVG Productions. Glad to have you guys with us. We got three contestants here ready to see if they can add to their season total winnings and try to climb the leaderboard and make their way to the final game of the season. So let's meet our players today. Starting with our first player, currently ranked first to the top of the leaderboard with $299,322 in winnings, it's Mr. Eric Lima. Eric, welcome back. Howdy. All right, our second player tonight. Uh, has won so far this season $27,947. We have Brody. Brody, welcome back. Hello. And finally, our third competitor, second time on the show. On um, last time, she was able to take home $17,685. It's Sunny. Huh? I thought it was $4,000. No. You won $17,000. You won a lot Shit. more than that. Well, what's up? <laughs> yeah. How you doing? <laughs> yeah, didn't you remember you went you went to the bonus round? You, you went you went to the sales yeah. century board. You won that awesome prize. Yeah, you won yeah. the bonus round. Yeah, zoo. Well, shit. How you how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> right anyway, good good okay. luck to all three players here today. You guys know how this works. Uh, we've got um, we've got questions. We should win worth five dollars. We we'll have some. Instant bargains, chance to win some instant cash. Which instant cash jackpot, I believe, is up to nineteen thousand dollars. So, one lucky person could have a chance for that a little bit later on. Of course, we've got the fame game board, and one person could win over a hundred thousand dollars tonight. So let's get right into it and give each of y'all twenty dollars to start. All right. Once again, there's your buzzing right. keys on the screen, and we've unlocked the buzzers for everybody. So good luck to all the three players as we start with this first question. For five dollars, you're on sale of the century. Good luck, players. How many points are scored in a touchdown in the NFL? That's Eric. Six. Say that again. Six. Six is correct. You got. You got up to twenty-five. All right. What four-letter word beginning with F is a division in the road or two? That's Sunny. Fork. Fork is correct. You got it. Uh, or is a utensil with two or more prongs? Fork is right. You have 25. Players, how many pounds are there in a ton? That's Brody. Um, 20. 20. I'll say 10. No, I'm sorry. No, there's 2,000 pounds in a ton. 2,000 pounds in a ton. So you lose five there, you drop down to 15. My right, players, what E means to urge or encourage someone to do something, or can also be found in a nest in a chicken coop? That's Brody. Eggs. Egg is correct. You got it. You got to jump back up to 20. Excellent. That was an excruciatingly bad pun, sir. Just saying. Oh, you did one too. Just saying. Excellent. Yeah. Let's keep going. Next. Wait, uh, I think you two are just egging me on. Exactly. That's what I asked you the question. Glad you to be so exervant now. Anyway, next question for $5. <laughs> well, that was egg. Egg it on. All right. Dogs, cats, or birds? Which domestic animal was worshipped by ancient Egyptians? That's Sunny. Uh, um, cats. Cats is correct. You got it. You got up to 30. And it's time for our first instant bargain of the day. Remember, player of the league gets to buy bargain price merchandise. Sales surprise with a cash bonus can appear at any time. Sonny, you've got a $5 lead currently over Eric. Maybe I can interest you in buying this. A set of child his and her luggage sets. Look stylish and travel with this beautiful set of his and her luggage, normally priced at $1,900, but yours today on sale this century for just... Six dollars. All right. So you know what? 
We're not gonna lo because oh, the I saw that. Keep going. I know I'm getting there. Let me finish my spiel. Okay. Please. Producer says they <laughs> don't want they don't want you to give up your entire lead, so we're gonna knock the price down to four bucks for this. You'll have you still have a one dollar lead over Eric if you want to buzz in for the luggage. Nearly two thousand dollars worth. Buzz in if you want it. Going once. And she's gonna buy. All right, very nice. I don't know how I'm going. I'm going I'm not, I don't know when. I have no idea when we're going to use the damn luggage, but I'm cool with that. Hey, right, it's nice luggage, though, and you enjoy that almost $2,000 worth. It does, you still got a $1 lead over Eric, and we're back to this next question. Next question for $5. All right, players, what, what fe all-female singing doo-wop group had a hit with a song called Baby in Love in 1964? No, nope, that's time. Correct correct answer on that one is the Supremes. It was the Supremes. Wouldn't have guessed it anyway. Alright, next one. What U.S. state is known as the Bluegrass State? That's Sunny. Um, damn it. I had it. Um... <laughs> That's time. I'm sorry. Oh, shit. Gotta take it off. I want to correct it. it. It's Kentucky. That's it. Kentucky. Yeah, Kentucky. Kentucky. Sonny loses five on that one. Drops down to 21, giving Eric a four dollar lead. As we go up to this one. All right, players. How many lines will you find in a limerick? Is it three, five, or seven? Brody. I say five. Five is correct. You go up to 25. Tie with Eric. Time out for the fame game, players. All right, players. Now time for our first fame game of the night. This is not for cash, but a pick of the fame game board. Again, we got some prizes, surprises, and those money cards on the board. Five and $10 money cards in play as we are looking for this famous thing. This famous thing. I am largely made of carbon. I sparkle. I am also a gem. For me, size matters. I'm judged by, by by four C's. And that's Sunny. Diamond. Diamond is correct. You got it. On very limited information, wow. too. Well done. All right. You get the pick of the fan game board. Which number would you like? Well, the one thing you said carbon and you said size matters. I'm like, oh, yeah, that's a rock. Anyway, let me do number four. Number four. And let's see. What are we behind number four? We have the burglar space. That means you get to steal five dollars from one of your opponents. They both have twenty-five. It'll give you the lead. Who are you gonna take the money from? Um, Eric. Gonna take it from Eric. And just like that, stealth the five dollars goes to your account. You go up to twenty-six. Brody with twenty-five. Eric back at twenty. Watching the bad, bad thief here. And we go to our next question for five dollars, players. In the nursery rhyme, sing a song of six, sixpence. How many blackbirds were baked into the pie? Was it 16, 20, or 24? That's Eric. 24. 24 is correct. It was four and 20 blackbirds baked into a pie. So that makes 24, so good job. Back up to 25. And oh, oops. That yes. Was my, that was my bad. All right, well, then I will... I'm... Um, you buzzed in early on that one, Brody, so unfortunately I'm going to have to penalize for you that. Um, the, I'm going to give you the four choices here for this uh, this question to be fair. Um, and give you at least a chance to try to answer it. Um, the answers are 12, right. 16, 10, or 8. That's the question? Yeah, yeah, that's all I could do. I'm going to say... I'm going to say 16. No, I'm sorry. Uh, the question would have been, how many pairs of ribs does an adult human have? It's actually 12. So I at, least uh, wanted, I at least wanted to be fair to give him a chance to try to make something off of it, just with the answers alone. But So we're going to take uh, that off. You're down to 20. Yeah, be careful about buzzing in early on this one. All right, next question. Uh, I'll be careful. Next question for five. Players, uh, what type of food is gelato? That's sunny. It's uh, Italian. It's like an ice cream. Yes, that's what we're looking for. Ice cream is right. You go up to 31. 
And quite frankly, as long, as hot as it's been lately, I could really go for some ice cream right oh now, my personally. God, it was so good. Yes, it is. It's quite delicious. <laughs> yeah, me too. And we're gonna go take a quick gelato break, and we'll it. be back with more Sales Century right after. This. Back on more tip century here. It's now time for another instant bargain. Sunny with a six dollar lead this time. Maybe I can interest you in buying this. It's a portable hot tub. Get get your rock max and relaxing on anywhere with this portable hot tub. Normally priced at three thousand two hundred ninety five dollars. Today on sale the century is yours for just ten dollars. Hmm. All right. Well, you know what? We're going to knock off $2 off the price to give you a chance to, if you want to buy it. It's $8. You'll be behind Eric by 2 bucks, but to throw in a little help, we're going to throw in about $500 in cash with that, too. $3,700 deal for just for $8. Buzz it if you want it. Going once. She's going to buy. It's a hot tub. I want a damn hot tub. <laughs> oh, a hot tub. All right. There you go. That's all. That should help around with this. There you go. All right, so you got that's the spirit. Eight dollars off the price puts you at twenty-three. Very close game. Less than the value of one question separates all three players here. Eric with twenty-five, Sunny with twenty-three, Brody with twenty. As we go to this next question for five dollars, players, what electronic company has the motto "Make Believe"? Is it Sony? Sit, Brody. Um, that'd be Samsung. No, it is Sony. I'm sorry, you lose five on that one. It's gonna drop down to fifteen. All right, players. Julia and Alfred were the names of the parents for which member of the British pop band The Beatles? Don't know this one. Time. Correct answer there is John Lennon. John Lennon. What we're looking for. Here's your next uh. one. Players, if something is biannual, how often does it occur? That's sunny. Two times a year. Twice a year is correct. Yeah, you get five right back up to the lead with 28. Apollo Creed, Clubber Lang, and Ivan Drago are all opponents of what fictional boxer? Sonny. Rocky. Rocky Balboa is correct. You got it. Go up to 33. All right, next question, players. Where in our solar system can you find the Sea of Showers? Where in the solar system can you find the Sea of Showers? Time. Correct answer there is on the moon. On our moon, to be specifically here. Oh. That's all right. Next question. Oh. Next one. <clears throat> all right. The country of Japan lies in what body of water? Is it the Atlantic Ocean, Pacific Ocean, or Indian oh. Ocean? That's Eric. Thank you. Pacific Ocean is correct. Do you go up to 30? Well, second thing, game. Not quite. In mathematics, players, yeah. what is 3 cubed? Oh. That's Sunny. Um, do it three times itself. So, 3, 3, 3. Yep. So, oh, oh, you want the answer? Yes. Oh. 9. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> 20, 27. It's 27 yeah. on that one. So. I was thinking it added up right. Nine, nine times three is 27. Yeah, yeah. no, it added up right. My bad. It's okay. No worries. No worries there. You lose five down to 28. As we go to our second, no, fam second, second fame game question, this one, we're adding a $15 money card to the board as we look for this famous place. This famous place. I am a mountain. I'm on the border of two different countries. Some people call me Kalogamanga. Some people call it Saramatha. I'm over 29,000 feet high. Mallory and Irvine disappeared while climbing me. And that's Sunny. Everest. Mount Everest is correct. You got it again. She's two for two. Quick on that buzzer on the fame game question. Sorry, right, Sunny. Ten, five, ten, fifteen dollar money cards on the board. Two. Number two. What do we have behind number two? Ah, some Italian crystal. Tiger Crystal valued at six hundred and fifty-five dollars. So you enjoy that nice, a nice little prize for you. And we continue on. Sunny with twenty-eight, Brody with fifteen, Eric with a two-dollar lead at thirty, 
and this next question for five. Players, who played the title role of Batman in the 2005 film Batman Begins? That's Sonny. Christian Bale. Christian Bale's correct. Go up to 33, back in the lead. Alright, players, who played Vicki Pollard's twin sister in the 2006 comic relief episode of Little Britain? And time, correct answer there is Kate Moss. Kate Moss is who we're looking for there. Alright, next question. In the U.S., Oregon, Nevada, and Arizona all border what U.S. state? And Eric at the buzzer. Be New Mexico. No, I'm sorry, that's incorrect. They all bo they all border California. They all border California, so you lose five there, down to twenty five yeah. on this one. All right, next one. All right, single line, U shaped, and island are all designs of what kind of room in your house? Is it the living room, kitchen, or the bathroom? That's Brody. The uh, living room. No, I'm sorry. That's a, it was all turned for the kitchen. It was all turned in the kitchen. And quite frankly, I need to go to the kitchen fix me something to eat because I'm sitting here hosting this episode and I'm quite hungry myself. So I'm going to grab a snack and we're going to take a quick commercial break. we got more Sale of the Century right after this. Back on sale of the century, it's now time for the instant cash. Sonny, with the $8 lead over Eric, you have the option to play for today's instant cash prize. Behind the doors here, we have the instant cash vault worth $19,000. The other two boxes, of course, will give you $500 in cash. If you want to play for the instant cash, it will cost you your lead, which is $8. You'll be in a tie for Eric if you want to play for nineteen grand. Buzz it if you want to play. Going once. Going twice. She's going to play. There you go, Sonny. All right, good luck. You've got yourself $500 guaranteed, but I want to give you $19,000. Where's the instant cash hiding? Two. All right, good luck to you. Box number two is going to give you... That's right. Got a jackpot winner. Nicely done. $19,000 in cash. That's gonna, definitely going to help her out. Wow, Sonny. Just in this episode alone, without without even getting to the uh, winner's big money board, if you make it that far, you've already picked up almost $25,000 in cash and prizes already. Congratulations wow. to you. Wow. That's, wow. that's a nice win for her. How are you doing? All right, we're going to reset the instant cash pr back to $10,000 for our next time around. Well, yeah, we're back to our questions here. Eric at 25, Sonny at 25, Brody just a couple questions behind. Here's our next question for $5. Players, someone born on the 1st of August has what zodiac sign? Is it Gemini, Leo, or Sagittarius? And that's Brody. I would say, uh, I would say Leo. Leo is correct. You got it. Go up to 15. Atlanta is the capital of what U.S. Sonny? Georgia. Jo what U.S. state? That is correct. Georgia's right. You go up to 30. All right. Douglas, Frazier, and Noble are all types of what type of tree? Sonny? Fir. They're all fir trees is correct. You go up to 35. Click on that buzzer here. And it's time for our third and final fame game of the night. We have a 5, 10, 15, and now we add a $25 money card to the board. As we look for this famous fictional character. This famous fictional character. I'm a character from the television and movies. I'm a super criminal. Actor, actor Berg, Burgess Meredith has played me on TV. And that's Eric. Penguin. The Penguin is correct on very little information. You've got it. Nicely done, sir. All right, you get to pick up the fame game board. the Joker. Mm hmm Four money cards up there. Which one would you like? Okay, and I got to pick from seven, so four out of three odds are in my favor. Let's try number seven, lucky seven. All right, and behind number seven we have... Ah, Deluxe Comforter Set. 
worth five hundred and twenty three dollars so nice you get to sleep in style from that one Eric so that's a nice little prize picked up for you all right and now we finish the game up with the speed round may I have 60 seconds on the clock please all right rapid fire questions I'm trying to do as many as I can again remember buzzing as soon as you think you know right answer is worth five wrong answers takes away five person has the most money in the speed round wins the game goes on to the winners big money board so good luck to you all as we start with this um, first question, remember you won't be able to buzz in till I finish reading the first question. So good luck to all three players as we start the speed round with this. By what three initials are the Republican Party also known? Is it the DEM, GNP, GOP, or Y2K? Sonny. GOP. Right. What, when dried, what fruit becomes a prune? Plum? Sonny. Plum. Right. What color does what color fur does Sesame Street's Cookie Monster have? Brody. Blue. Right. What's the second highest mountain on Earth? K2, J3, M4, P5. Brody. J3. Wrong. Crazy Horse was a celebrated leader among what people? Eskimos, in American Indians, Marqua, or Vikings? Brody. Eskimos. Wrong. Which of these is not a providence in Canada? Quebec, Manitoba, Newfoundland, or Minnesota? Azani. Minnesota. Right. What's the name given to the third person tagging along with a couple? Third wheel, third place, Sonny. Third wheel. Right. How many cents are there in $200? Is it 2000 20000 200000 Brody. 2000 Wrong. A pedicure deals with what part of the body? Sonny. Right. And a standard game of checkers, so what's how many pieces each side start with? And that's our time, Sonny, in today's winner. Wow. Good run oh. through the questions there. We go back get the couple that we didn't get there. Uh, how many cents are there in two hundred dollars? It's actually twenty thousand cents on that one. Wow. Uh, uh, Crazy Horse was a celebrated leader among the American Indian people, yep. and of course the second highest mountain on Earth. It is K two. K two found on the continent of Africa there. So good game all around for our players, Eric. You did pretty good for yourself today. You got yourself that deluxe comforter set along with the cash in front of you multiplied by 50. You're now up to a grand total for this season of $299,845. Cash prizes, sir. Congratulations. Thank you very much. 115 bucks away from $300,000. Yeah, getting ready to crack that $300,000. Maybe you can do it on the next on the next episode here. Brody, mm -hmm. you did pretty... Actually, I'm sorry. I've the uh, I miscalculated on that, Eric. It's actually you had two hundred ninety-nine thousand eight hundred forty-five dollars. When we add the cash pr prizes over, you are over the three hundred thousand dollar mark. You're at three hundred one thousand ninety-five dollars. You've done it, nicely done. All right, Brody. Fortunately, things didn't go well for you in the question portion today, but you've got yourself twenty-seven thousand nine hundred forty-seven dollars in prizes. We give you another fifty. Uh, two hundred fifty dollars in cash in front of you, puts you now up to a nice season total of twenty eight thousand one hundred ninety seven dollars, sir. Congratulations. Thank you. Good luck, Sonny. Thank you. All right, and we're going to take a quick commercial break. When we come back. Sonny's going to see how well she does when she plays our winner's big money board. And she'll do that right after this. Stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome back to Sale of the Century here. Sunny, our big winner today so far this season. She's up to a grand total of $43,035, counting the additional $500 in bonus cash that I offered her earlier this episode. And now she has a chance to see if she can take home the lot on our winner's big money board. Come on up here, Sunny. <laughs> All right, Sonny, let's see what prizes you'll be playing for on today's Winner's Big Money Board, and they are the following. All right, for $80, you can win a queen-size bed and sleep set worth over $5,700. For $190, you can win a pool package worth over $7,000. For $200, you can win a beautiful player piano worth $7,500. For $310, you 
you could win a water sport package worth over seven thousand seven hundred dollars four hundred and twenty dollars you could win a trip to england worth twenty five thousand four hundred seventy four dollars for five hundred and thirty dollars you can win a Ford F-150 worth $26,000 for $640. You win the cash prize of $50,000. And for $750, you win all the prizes plus the cash bonus for a total of $129,478. All right, Sonny, for every $10 you earn in the upfront game, we give you a $1 head start. You finished with 60 bucks, so we're going to put $6 in the bank. Now here's your chance to see how well you do on the winner's big money board. We got 25 numbers up there with cash amounts ranging from $5 all the way up to $250. You get five picks to try to get up to $750. If you can do that, you take home the lot and over $140,000 worth of prizes today. So if you're ready, good luck to you. How much do I have to make? You got to get to $750 is the magic number. Okay. You're starting with six, so good luck to you. All right, starting with 24 on the bottom. What do we have on 24? $250. Great start. Do that two more times. You've won the lot. Um, 11. All right, going number 11, left side of the board. What do we have behind number 11? $100. Another good pick. Up to $356 now. Eight. Number eight. What do we have behind number eight? $5. All right, up to 361 now. Let's 25. 25. Last number on the board. What do we have behind 25? $20. All right, last pick. Let's see if you get you a big one here. Five. Number five, upper right hand corner. What do we have behind number five? $100. All right. So for $481, you've won that trip to, awesome trip to England worth over $25,000. Now, here's the part of the game you got to think about it for a second. You can keep that trip to England, or you can play our second chance game and pick one of these two envelopes. One of them has a second chance card. One of them has a lose half card. If you find the envelope with a second chance inside, you get two more picks of the board to try to get up to $750. However, if you find the envelope that says lose half, you lose half your winnings, and you will drop down to 240 bucks. Which will still get you a nice prize, but it won't be the current trip to England that you have that's worth over 25000 So the choice is yours. Stop, take the trip you've won, or risk it and pick an envelope. I want to see. You want to risk it and play on? All right. You want, let, you want be The last four or five episodes, we have not found anybody to pick that second chance card. We really want to find it here. So good luck. We're going to take envelope B. Behind B, we have... Nine. Second chance! Finally! The streak has been broken! All right. Two more picks of the board. Get a chance to win something very nice here. Maybe you can win the lot. You are about... A uh, little over $250 away. You got two picks. Let me do two. Number two? Alright. Behind number two, what do we have? $40. Alright, if you could find one of the $250 spots that are left on the board, there's at least two of them up there. You win the lot. 21. Number 21. We want to see 250 behind here for a big win. What do we have behind 21? $40. Alright. So a total of $561 gets you that brand new Ford F-150 worth over $26,000. So that's an awesome truck there. Take the money out of your bank, leaving you $31 in there. We're going to multiply that by 100. So that's another, th that is another nice price of $31,000 added. No, sorry. I multiply by 100 is another $3,100 in cash for some gas money for that. So add up everything you've won on the board, plus your cash, plus everything you won in the episode. Just this episode alone, you've managed to win over $50,000 in cash and prizes. Your season total now, after three games, no, after two games, excuse me, after two games, is $72,135. Congratulations. you got to be excited about that just a little bit. Awesome. Well, congratulations to Sonny. Congratulations to all of our players playing uh, Sail the Century today. And I'd like to thank you guys at home for watching another fun-filled episode here. 
If remember, if you like the series, please click that like button down below. Share the video with your friends. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please hit that subscribe button down below. And don't forget to ring the bell. That way you never miss a great episode of Sale of the Century or any other great game shows I have here at MVG Productions. And until the instant bargains come your way once again, I'm your host, Brandon Scruggs, saying thank you for watching this episode of Sale of the Century. We will see you all next time. Take care. Bye for now, folks. All the prizes used on sale of the century are manufacturer suggested retail price accurate as of time or taking. This is Michael Gentry speaking. Sales of the Century is an MGG production.